Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to basically get started with our new series. We're going to grab our code, which is actually the code that you left off with from the Meteor 1.4 in React series. However, uh, if you did not do that series, you can just download that code simply off of GitHub and get started from there. So you do not have to complete the other series to get started with this one. However, if you want a nice framework as to how we got to where we are, it's a great place to start. So fire it up, download this code and get ready because we're about to build a next generation real time web app with Meteor and React. Okay, so in this series, we're going to be covering a lot of the concepts that make React and Meteor a little bit more viable as a large platform for building larger sites. I mean, really, in the basic series, we built a cool little app, but you know, there's a lot of potential for it that's not necessarily realized yet. So in this series, we're going to be taking that code. And don't worry if you didn't work on that series, we have the code right here for you. Uh, we're going to be taking that code and basically expanding on it in all sorts of ways with both uh, techniques that are going to make the application better for your users, but also techniques that are going to make it more viable to scale for you, um, to scale upward in terms of components or, or just making things a little bit less likely to break at some point. And all of these skills in this series are going to be entirely necessary for getting better at both Meteor and React. So to get started, what we want to do is we want to head to this repo. I'll make this link available to you. But really, we just need to clone. If you are not familiar or not down with GitHub or you don't know essentially what to do with this, you can always click the download zip and you'll have a folder. However, I'm going to be using the clone method, so I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to go in my directory where I keep my websites and I'm going to say git clone and then I'm going to paste in the repository. Okay, so you can now see we should have this if I change directories into intermediate hyphen meteor hyphen. Okay, all this big long path name. You can probably change this because this is kind of obnoxiously long, but for right now, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we are inside of our project. And we're going to get our app started. And we're going to simply just say Meteor. Now, check this out. Uh, we could just hit enter here, and this is going to be fine. But here's a quick little easy tip. If we wanted to have multiple Meteor sites running at once, uh, you'll notice they'll all try to run on port 3000. So if you ever need to run multiple sites, you can always do hyphen hyphen, uh, we'll say port hyphen hyphen port space, and then the port number. If we were to put 3200 in here, enter. You can see it's going to start up and it's going to grab everything. But the site will be available at 32. Let me once this starts up. And you can see we're getting some crashes. And you might already know exactly why these crashes are. Well, these crashes aren't because of the port. Um, basically, we're not using our NPM packages. So we pulled all this stuff down. But what we don't have is we don't have any of our NPM stuff installed. So in a new tab, I'm using iTerm, I just hit Command D if you're using anything else. Just make sure you're within the same directory that you were. And we can type in NPM install. Now, in a later video, I'm going to be showing you how we can use uh, Facebook's new package manager called Yarn. And uh, there are some little benefits to using Yarn, but essentially it's the same as NPM. Okay, so as you can see, after running our NPM install, we should have our up at localhost port 3000 and 200 right now. Give this page a refresh, and here's our app. Nice and perfect. You'll notice that we no longer have any database items, right? We no longer have anything. If you're coming from your previous version of this series, you should have all of your voting items in here still. Because this is a new install entirely, we don't have that. But if you also remember, we need to actually log in before we can add anything. So I'm going to click create an account. Now I'm going to just simply add, we can have coffee verse T. There we go. 
Cool, so we're in line here to be ready to go. I'm actually going to stop this server really quick and fire it up again at port 3000. Actually, I take that back. We're just going to say Meteor. Um, gotta type it correctly. Meteor with no port, just so it's not confusing. And let's come back here. We'll change this port to 3000. Otherwise, once this is all up, which it should take a second, we should be the exact same place we were in. Okay, so like I said, we now have our project up and running. We have uh, some voting options in here. If you're not familiar with this application because you did not take the previous series, we basically have two text boxes that say two items. We can add the items. If this is all once with when we're logged in, that is. And basically, we can vote on them. So if I click T, it's going to... Apparently, I, I logged out when I changed the port. Let me re-sign in. Okay, so now that I'm signed in, we can essentially click one of these items and boom, I'm voting. Cool. So we nice had this nice little voting app. If we were to have more items, let's go ahead and say mints versus gum. You'll see that it only gives us one at a time. So we can say vote for mints. Now we get a vote for tea. Now we get a vote for gum. You can see how this application is set up. I would definitely recommend pawing through the code if you haven't taken the previous course. It should be pretty straightforward though. So this is our project. We are ready to go. In the next video, we're going to actually get started with routing. We're going to install React Router, create a layout, and then we're actually going to start routing between things. So it's going to be really, really cool. React Router is something you're going to want to definitely use if you're using React and Meteor. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this entire series right now, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase this entire series or subscribe to Level Up Tutorials. You'll get access to this entire series and I'll even have some bundle deals with this and other Meteor series. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.